So in this overview, I'll give you a quick taste of how you can use Episoft to process unstructured content and post it to Box through our Capture, Classify, and Extract engine. At its most basic level, think of Episoft as an on-ramp for Box, providing the ability to grab documents from any source and pump them into the repository. We can grab email attachments, we have hot folder capabilities, we can integrate with copiers, got a web-based scanning interface. We can even link into existing content repositories and pull out that information, process it, and post it. We've also got a really capable mobile application that lets you do capture and OCR of documents that you take with your phone. Episoft has a patented analytics technology that deeply examines the content structure and typography of a page and then uses that information to classify the type of document and extract important information. With the box integration, we can use that information to create standardized file names, add descriptions, and even auto-create box metadata fields through the API. In this example, we're pulling all the pertinent information off an invoice and using that to add metadata to box. One of the nice things about FSOft is anything that you can do in the application interface, you can also do through web services. So now you've got an intelligent central processing engine that any organization can use to add full document capture, to ingest document from common sources, and even migrate from legacy content repositories through all our integrations. So that was a quick tee up of the demo that I'm gonna show you and I'll give you a feel for how FSOft integrates with Box. I mentioned a number of import sources for documents, everything from hot folders to email attachments. We've also got a web upload interface, which for a demo is the easiest way to, to show you how things get processed. So let's go ahead and select a few files and I'm gonna do some, uh, some invoice processing. So I'll, I'll pick a couple invoices here. We'll go ahead and, uh, and, and put them into the upload interface. You can see that I've got a processing workflow called invoices to box. And we'll go ahead and start that process off. Now, once again, all of this can happen in the background automatically, but for demo purposes, I want to again, give you a feel for how the flow works. So the end destination within box, I've actually created an invoices folder. And then that folder really has no metadata fields or no customization built. And you'll see here in a minute how we're going to go ahead and auto build that. Through the FSOft interface, we can see that we've picked up that batch of documents and that they're currently running. So we'll check in here again in a minute and, uh, and show you some of the features of FSOft. So this batch of documents will go through the processing engine, go through extraction, and in this case, I've actually uh, induced an error within the system, so it pauses. If there were no issues, no problems with confidence, it would go from start to finish without end user intervention. But one of the places that FSOF really excels is in uh, validation and review. So if you do have a problem or there is a question on the document, it's always best to catch it before it goes into the repository. And we have validation capabilities. So you can see here, I'll give you an overview as we process these invoices. We actually extracted metadata. So we pulled the invoice number, the date, the total, the amount. We even linked into a database and pulled back vendor information. FSOF's got a confidence question on this particular field. When it did the OCR, the conversion of this image into text, it had a question. It wasn't quite sure that this invoice number was correct, but you can see it did map it correctly. So let's go ahead and validate that. Click OK, and it'll move on in the process. So the next step, it's going to go through and migrate those documents into the box repository, and we'll see here in a minute the result. Okay, you can see I hit my refresh and now I've got two PDFs uh, of the invoices that I processed. One thing you'll notice immediately is that I custom named the files. So this is great. We can standardize the file naming scheme so any user that uses FSOP 
will create the same repeatable file naming standard. So in this case, it's vendor dash invoice number. You can see I did that dynamically for both of the invoices that I processed. And you can see I also added a description. So I can combine any of the metadata information. So in this case, I said vendor invoice from city state. Okay, and I can combine that in any way, shape, or form. If I click on this invoice, you can see I can open it up. And then what I want to show you here is over on the right hand side, if I click on info, you can see the file name in the description that I already pointed out. But we also built custom metadata fields. Okay, so in the box, through the box API, I should say, we added vendor, invoice number, invoice date, and then a specific Evisoft reference, and we populated those fields. So now you've got these as actionable metadata fields. If you want to do uh, some other type of custom integration, you want to kick off workflow, or um, do a, a fine-grained search. So that's a quick overview. If you have any questions, you can come to fsoft.com or shoot us an email at info at fsoft.com. Thanks.